During this presentation, I'm going to focus on the discussion of the relationship between spirituality and health. At first, there may not seem to be a connection between the two, but spirituality can greatly impact your health, especially mental health, in both positive and negative ways. Spirituality, until more modern times, has always been linked with healing. Until doctors became a common thing, people would go to their religious leaders for healing with ailments and injuries. It makes sense that even in today's more technological and cold society, religion still plays a large part in our healing processes. One of the most common ways spirituality benefits someone is via praying. Praying is essentially meditation, and there are many benefits to meditation such as lower blood pressure and stress levels. Stress can not only affect your mental health, but your physical health as well. Studies have shown that people that are frequently stressed or have higher stress levels over a long period of time tend to have a lower immune system. This means that by praying, you are reducing your risk of catching a cold, flu or even COVID and you're feeling better during the day. Those that are more religious tend to do better when handling large health issues such as cancer or a chronic illness. They tend to take the situation as a challenge to prove their faith rather than a random, unfortunate accident. It gives people a drive to keep pushing forward even during difficult situations where other people might give up. This continues to remain true in the face of death. When someone dies, their loved ones all handle the grieving process differently. Those who believe in an afterlife, rebirth or a better place after death tend to handle the grief better as they have a positive mindset of life after death and feel that their loved one is in a better place or that they will see them again someday. Community is also another positive aspect of spirituality. When you're in a loving and supportive group that shares similar beliefs, each member is always looking out for the other. If you fall ill, people may bring you food, watch your kids, and even keep you in their thoughts and prayers. This can help reduce the stress that comes with trying to get everything done while sick. You can focus on getting better and recover faster. However, spirituality and health don't always go hand in hand. Depending on the religion, sometimes it may be seen as bad to accept certain medical practices. One great example is Jehovah's Witnesses. Many who are part of this religious organization believe that taking blood transfusions goes against God's will, even if it's their own blood. This means that in certain life-threatening situations, these people must choose between their religion and their life. If they do take the blood, they may be cast out of their community. Depending on the community you're in, Spirituality can play a positive or negative role on mental and physical health. If you are part of a group that may not have your best interests in mind, or may even not work with your lifestyle, you may experience negative health consequences. The converse is also true. Focusing on spirituality that fits your beliefs and needs, and has a community that you find enjoyment in meeting, is important to boost your mental health and reduce stress. Spirituality is very important, but so is your health you must find a good balance between the two. If you can find that balance, you'll find that your spirituality and your health can work together to improve your life through synergy. However, if they don't work together, you can find that your mental health can decrease dramatically while also finding yourself doubting your spirituality. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.